Coleman Hawkins with us now. Uh, the first thing that I'll ask you is you're going from playing for Brad Underwood to Jerome Tang. Is there a little bit of a difference in culture shock in, in the way that Brad and, and Jerome run a program? No, I mean, I feel like uh, Coach Tang is different with he, – he's more so focused on little things that, you know, to me, I, I, I went through a college career and, you know, little things like wearing – k-state gear in a film session or you know just little things like that like little picky things that i never really found important that he finds important um so it's like little things like that you know i've had to get used to but as far as coaching wise you know both of them try to you know teach and they're very truthful so uh, i feel like they're very similar in that aspect um and you know they want the best out of all of us uh all the teams they've coached so um they've definitely pushed us and in different ways and you know one coach uh cussed a little bit more than the other the other one you know doesn't cuss and makes you do push-ups <laughs> if you do so that's that's kind of the only real difference so <laughs> how, how tough is it to go from playing basketball for, at one place for four years and then coming in for just one year at another like it, it, just stuff like that like just having to rewire yourself maybe yeah no I, I mean I'm gonna be so honest it's it's very uh difficult you know there's a lot of times where I get very frustrated and um you know I've displayed those emotions when I've I've been frustrated uh because uh you know at one place you can run through the line and when there's zero, zero on the clock and you're half, half of your body's over the line half of it's not but you still make the line and if you do that and you know here at K State you have to run it again so you know there's times where you know you're you're not used to stuff and like little things it, it's just it, it was very difficult for for me at first but you know I have a feel for it now and you know I'm bought in now and uh, so it's been a lot easier now and I I've, I've been able to be a lot better and be a better player too so does it make it easier that a majority of your teammates are also at k-state for the first time and, and kind of going through the same thing as you yeah i think so uh i think it it'd be probably more frustrating for me if everyone had uh, all the other things down just like uh like uh like when when new people would come in at illinois you know they they i'm sure they got frustrated at times because they they wanted to be on the same page as everyone but you know everyone's getting on the same page everyone's uh, going at the same pace and no one no one's really ahead of anybody we're all learning and getting to know everyone's game and getting a feel for everyone so uh, it's been good to see that everyone's learning at a, a rapid pace and you know I think we're going to be a really solid team going from the Big Ten to the Big 12 both have great talent and teams at the top uh, what do you think the difference will be though in the Big 12 versus playing the Big Ten uh, I think defensively uh, I think there's just going to be more physicality and uh, more athleticism in my opinion I feel like uh, there's more mobile bigs more mobile and athletic wings in the Big 12 and uh, I feel like there's more stiff uh, more uh, like back to the basket bigs in the Big 10 and, and more kind of catch and shoot maybe a little bit more stiff wings uh, so I think the athleticism piece is one thing and um, and you know we'll we'll have to see. I I, I don't know yet because I haven't gotten a feel for it just yet, but we'll have to see. Where do you feel like the team is at right now? Because you obviously played for one of the best four-year stretches of basketball at Illinois, so you've seen a lot of good basketball. Where do you feel like this team is relative to some of the ones you played out there? Um, I think it's just hard to say because um, we do stuff so differently. Um, but I feel like we. We outmatch this team outmatches some of my old Illinois teams with the athleticism and length. Um, I feel like we're very versatile. I feel like no one has one primary position, maybe besides Doug. Um, so I, I feel like um, I feel like we're not far off from being a, a championship contending team. I think it just depends on how well we can attack on offense and how well we can uh, lock people up on defense, and then. Defensive rebound. We got to be able to defensive rebound and limit teams to one shot. So, where do you feel like you fit in positionally at K State, and, and what's that been like? Because everybody's talked about your versatility going into the year. So, how has that kind of bore out through practice in the off season? Uh, I think it just depends. I think, um, if I'm being honest, maybe the four spot. I feel like the four touches the ball uh, more than you know, probably like a three or five. Um, 
you know, if, if we put in, which I'm, I'm kind of patiently waiting for, we put in a package with me at the five, uh, I feel like we'll be able to do a lot more things offensively. But, you know, right now I feel like uh, the four man touches the ball almost uh, every possession on offense. So I feel like the four, four spot for me is, you know, probably where, where I feel most comfortable right now. Coming to play at K-State, you talked about, you know, some of the, the things you've had to adjust to. Have there been some positive things that have been different for you being in Manhattan and playing at K-State than compared to Illinois? Yeah, I like the fact that we have to uh, – they have a dining like a dining hall that's kind of more accessible for us with better food. You know, that's no knock on Illinois. That's just how they do things. And, you know, I, I obviously ate well at Illinois, and there, we had uh, food provided for us. But um, I just like how we have, like, more of a dining hall with other student-athletes uh, – which is very cool to me because I like being able to meet uh, student athletes and um, and basketball wise I like practicing a little later in the mornings we went pretty early at Illinois so um, and it's just been chill like it's been everything's been very accessible and you know I live right next to Bram, uh, Bramlage and the practice facility so it's just been very accessible, and you know, I haven't had any like ch real challenges. So, is there one venue or opponent that you're looking most forward to to playing this year, or a couple? <laughs> I figure when you were talking about <laughs> stiff back to the basket type guys, I didn't know if you were alluding to maybe. I one. didn't say that, <laughs> but no, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to playing Kansas. Um, really, just because I've heard a lot of good things about uh, how how well the atmosphere is, how loud it gets. So, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely say Kansas. Uh, yeah, I think the the last time K-State beat KU and Lawrence was 2006. So every when you guys go there, that will be the, the, the thought and the expectation from the fans is can you get it done. Uh, the other thing that I was going to ask you, a lot was made of the, the NIL situation when you were in the portal. <laughs> is that something that gets uh, annoying or, like, a, a little too much to deal with with people making a big deal out of that yeah i mean one it's all alleged <laughs> <laughs> two i mean if i was a, if i was a pro everyone would know what i'm making anyway uh three i mean if you think there's anything wrong with a player leaving to go do something that benefits them um i mean you would leave a regular person would leave their job in a heartbeat if, if the opportunity came for them to make more than what they were making. Um, coaches do it all the time and don't have to explain. You know, when a coach does it, uh, they're trying to provide for their family. Uh, they're trying to, you know, but when a player does it, they're greedy, they're selfish, and they're a tra traitor. So, I mean, um, those are the only things that kind of bother me, but it doesn't get to me. It's just, you know, if, if other people do that, I would hate for them to have that label because uh, they're just trying to do what anyone else in the in the country would do so uh last thing i'll ask you about is how do you like to spend your free time since you've been in manhattan and i know that golf is a big part of your life uh so where is that uh aspect at right now uh i haven't honestly i wish i could golf more you know I've, i definitely have opportunities too but i, I honestly i get lazy like <laughs> i've been super tired after practice so i haven't even been feeling like oh my gosh that's a crazy looking mascot i'm not gonna lie a pistol pete yeah but um golf is definitely one thing but right now i've just been really just chilling in my room watching movies just uh playing the video games you know the usual just relaxing so yeah i, I asked max jones if he had an impression of a teammate or a coach and he s said moby ak garuka had one of the wildest accents that he's ever met yeah. so do you have uh, an impression of somebody on the team that I, you I could do David David just David just talks like he has a, a stuffed up nose he's like I, I don't really know what I'm I don't know oh I'm, so then I'm he, he kind of talks like guessing. me right now <laughs> <laughs> no he's, he's just like he just like yeah he, he talks like he doesn't care. Like, yeah, so. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we look forward to, to seeing you in purple finally and uh, everything that comes with it this year. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks.